everybody. We just got finished recording episode 139 with Suzanne Gilbert of the Hatchetberry. Gainesville's incredible axe throwing bar. You planned that. <laughs> Spontaneous. <laughs> so spontaneous. Uh, you guys, we had a great episode. It comes out Monday at 8 a.m., so be sure to check it out. And uh, we're going to get into our little rapid-fire session. But before we do, make sure you check out all the sponsors that make this production possible by visiting whoagnv.com forward slash sponsors. And thank you to the GNV commercial advisory team at Collier's Gainesville for being one of our incredible sponsors. Gainesville is growing every day, and no one knows that better than the GNV commercial advisory team at Collier's Gainesville. They help businesses and investors of all sizes buy, sell, lease, and manage their properties in North Central Florida. The GNV commercial advisory team has the most local experience and expertise in town, plus the resources of a global firm to get your commercial real estate done. Deal done, excuse me. Get started on your next commercial project by visiting them at Collier's.com slash Gainesville. And Suzanne was telling us that they helped you guys find they a did. location for they the Hatchetbury right over here on 8th. Yeah, we right? worked with Dan Drotos and he was, you know, he was great. We've he, got this he, location he, right he, next he to the found, police precinct. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be perfect for you. <laughs> and, and, yeah, do you know what's funny? Yeah, he, so he, he helped us. He was wonderful to work with. So um, awesome. uh, shout out to Dan and the team uh, and um, yeah really kind of worked hard for us and yeah right next to the police station and it's funny on our grand opening uh we had the police come around i'm like thinking oh my god noise complaint on the first uh evening but they they, they were really nice they were just introducing themselves getting a lay of the land all like, of we're that so kind of used stuff. to like carrying guns around we just wanted to see if we could borrow an axe for a little while <laughs> throw it see what it's like. yeah sure uh, well that's awesome we guys we had a great episode dove into a lot of great topics and it's just really fun just hearing the story and hearing how you guys got to gainesville and started this awesome business so I'm uh, excited for it to release again. It's Monday at 8 a.m. Always nice to have the energy too. I love, yeah. I love something about feeling about the vibe. you and, and just the, feeling the, the vibe. That's yeah. what I'm all about. That's it's, good. It's awesome. But yeah, let's, we'll start the side hustle. The, the goal is to try to answer these, you know, as quickly as possible, so we get through as many as we can. Okay. So I'll start with uh, <laughs> what is your favorite football club? Nottingham Forest FC. <laughs> I'm a Nottingham born and bred. You said His, former ball girl, too. Uh, yeah, former ball girl. I've been a ball girl against Manchester United in the Ryan Giggs, David Beckham uh, days. I, was, I stood behind Peter Schmeichel's goal, uh, ball girl, uh, quite a few times, and um, season ticket holder. And then I moved to London, so I'd watch the London games after that. Any, any pressure there? Did you ever have any like screw-ups where you just like accidentally threw the ball the wrong time? Well, actually, we were, uh, we were winning by one goal against... Uh, a team called Oxford United and I remember specifically being 14 years old and the uh, crowd shouting it was like the 91st minute hold on to the ball and I'm like I'm supposed to throw it back to the player and I was like <laughs> they're trying to get you to kill the clock yeah yep. I killed the clock for Nottingham uh, Forest uh, nice that's awesome oh, man. <laughs> got to do what you can as a supporter that's right I love it I love it uh, bit of cheating alright so so being uh, you know from Nottingham like are you <laughs> she got, she got, she brought, she, she brought some stilton. yeah why don't you tell us what you brought for everybody here today I bought you edible gold basically okay. uh, I'm from a little village called Crotwell Bishop I'm very proud of my Crotwell Bishop heritage um, finding good cheese around here it's all processed you squirt cheese out of a can are you kidding me this is real <laughs> cheese I'm from Stilton, uh, Crock Bishop, Colson Bassett. I bought you some nice crumpets to go along with it. Cheese and crumpets is like, I don't know, That's the thing. heaven on earth. There you go. Well, thank I'm you excited. for bringing that. Yeah. Um, so my question is like, are you guys like, really is like the whole Robin Hood thing like overplayed are you guys like really kind of no, sick of the, or is it like one of those defining things that you're just he's like, real ah. I'm related to him yeah yeah Robin, Robin of Loxley. Loxley very good hmm. yeah uh, you're related to him in bloodline yeah. well I think so especially since the axe throwing thing now I know it's not bows and arrows but it's close enough so <laughs> I'm convinced I'm related to Robin Hood now okay he's yeah an amazing guy robbed from the rich to give to the poor 
Okay. <laughs> do you do you have the Robin Hood app? I was gonna say until until they started investment apps and then they just gave to the rich. Oh, yeah, and, the and now the name has been trashed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Smited. Smited and thrown in the gutter. I'd like to return At least the as Robin of this Hood name. February back. Right. I'd like to uh, return the Robin Hood name back to Nottingham, please, and give it uh, some restoration. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was just interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's very on brand too. Uh, what is one of the things you would put on your bucket list? Um, I would say jumping out of an aeroplane. It scares the heebie-jeebies out of me, just the thought of it. I'd never do a bungee jump, but I'd love to jump out of an aeroplane. Oh my God. So you don't like the safety of a cord attached to you? No, you I don't to... like feeling sick. Okay. I don't like fairgrounds. I don't see what the point is in paying $10 just to feel sick. Uh-huh. Um, uh, yeah, jumping out of an aeroplane. Have you have you done it? Uh, skydive? Yeah. I have not. Yeah. I remember when you were going to become certified. <laughs> oh, I'd love I, to. I did it once. It was yeah. fun. I'd love to. But that was the thing. I, you you guys were convinced that oh, you were, we were going to yeah, go on so it, many it jumps like, so you could go solo and get certified and everything. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. I, could, I mean, it's really easy to do. I don't know why I just don't go and do it. Yeah. Just, it's not In a different me. life, I could have gotten certified, I think. But, like, I don't know. Like, it was right. fun. Right. Palak is a guy here, a good place to do it. You can also do it on the on the coast. But, I'd love you know, to do it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe be we'll like, go. whoa! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, what's your favorite energy drink? Um, slippery nipples. I, I've got a lot of energy on the dance floor after some slippery nipples. <laughs> what's in a slippery nipple? Uh, Bailey's like a, and sambuca. Okay. Oh, and Sambu, because I've heard of a buttery nipple, and I just wasn't sure if that was a... S- uh, slippery nipple is like um, Bailey's and Sambuca. Okay. Is that an energy drink? Sure. sure. I mean, <laughs> it gives me give, energy. Does it give you energy? It's your yeah. answer. It nah. gives me energy. All right. Um, if a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be, and who would play you? Hmm. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I'd like to think um, action-adventure. Um I guess um, I like to do different things in life. Uh, I think it keeps life interesting. I never know what's around the corner. So action adventure. And um, who gets that leading role? Do you know what? Like from the age of 14 to about 35, I don't get it now. But I used to get stopped so much in the street. Brigitte Nielsen. No. no. I've, I've been told that okay. before. I used to get stopped in the street so much. Uh, that I look like Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay, I, I could see, see that. Yeah. I could see it. So I guess it would be her. I've not had it for a long time though. So maybe I don't know. Maybe my face has changed. No, I could see it still. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words. <sighs> High energy, positive. No, is that high energy and positive? Or no, the, no, no, no. I was just, I was, I was just is that counting a hyphenated up. Word no, no, it's, like... it's a hyphenated word, okay, so I'm yeah. allowed. I'm allowed Another one more. Word. Okay. High energy, positive, and fun. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Uh, usually we ask tea or coffee. Is it? Neither. Neither. Okay. Really? So I was going to ask if you had a favorite tea, assuming that you might, but that's a bad assumption. No. Why are you making an assumption? Uh, just because uh, she's from England. Yes, yes, no, yes right. exactly. I'm sorry. She brought no. us cheese and crumpets. <laughs> No. <laughs> it would have been a good assumption. Um, <laughs> right. I'll just give you. Can't give you do it. I love, love, love the smell of coffee. You can like, uh, br- you know, grind your beans or whatever mm, so in good. front of me all day. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But I just can't swallow uh. it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell more than the uh. taste. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is really nice, just when it comes to it. I can't do it. You can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey. Uh, what is your favorite hobby? Poker. Uh, do you now, still play? Now, very occasionally. Um, playing so often, it took the joy out of it mm-hmm. for me. I became a robot playing four tournaments at once I did I literally became a robot but when I play live with people with like my best friend Jet for example back in London when she comes over it's great fun very very occasionally now mostly like no limit hold'em type or do yeah you play no, different? no limit hold'em I do like a bit of uh, high low Omaha as well mm-hmm. um and I, you know I, I, I do good because I'm like really fresh but I kind of drilled it into the the hole um, so. <laughs> I love it. I, mean, she I said don't poker, know where we're like, going. Poker. <laughs> poker in the front, liquor like, in the exactly. Room. Yeah. Uh, All yes. right. Uh, oh God, where's this wait, going, man? I, I, that's why it's the side hustle. Yeah. 
Yeah. Cheese Stoughton is really good. <laughs> what store do you shop at the most? Walmart. Okay. You know? There's no joke there. No, actually, <laughs> actually, it's changed since the Hatchet Brewery, uh, Lowe's. Okay. I, sh- I should yeah, be yeah. like, uh, they Lowe's, you Lowe's need to sponsor the Hatchet Brewery, blimey. Mm. So I tell you, like, the amount of money that we've put into Lowe's for this, that, and the other, whether it's wood or axes or Maybe they would. screws mm. or whatever, buckets, mops, cleaning, everything, uh, Lowe's. We need a good, like, and maybe there is one and I'm just missing them, but like a good, like, local hardware store type uh, place. Because, like, Lowe's would probably never do that. But, like, if we had, like, a Gainesville. I would love that. Right? I don't know. You should ask. I mean, if they put, like, signage up in there and say. Right. Brought to you by. Yeah. You know. Mm. If you could get yourself anything, let me personal or for the business, what would it be? Hmm. Um. Probably an Indian motorcycle. Mm. Okay. They are sexy as hell. Okay. Um, I I would be too afraid to drive it though in Florida, but I'd maybe buy it and just sit on it a bit each day. Yeah. Okay. Just in, you know, a little just seat on time. the driveway or whatever. Mm-hmm. We we talked off Mike about how much uh, you love Florida drivers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a roundabout. You go round it. You don't stop <laughs> halfway. Not a stop, it's not a stop oh about. my god. <laughs> That's don't really stop. Crazy. Use your bloody indicator. Seriously. Yeah, I'd get. I'd. I'd, I'd love one of those. Um, I saw a really great Indian motorcycle at uh, Bike Week. My dad. Uh, well, my parents are rockers from the '60s. My dad was called Bonneville Bill in the '60s, and um, I think I. Uh, there's something in the blood there. I'd love one of those Indian motorcycles. What is your favorite song? <laughs> Um. Well, old song, L.A. Woman by The Doors. I never get tired of that. New song, Best Damn Moment, the Hatchetbury theme song <laughs> uh, by local rapper and artist Zazus, incredibly talented. Uh, it's about to be revealed. So. Shout out. Zazus, love ya. Is it like still stuck in your head? Like, can you oh, get it Oh man, out? as soon as I heard it, like we, we worked together on the wording and stuff like that. I said, he said, how about this beat? I said, no, I want this kind of beat. So, and the, it just came together, just a few more like tweaks. Um, I'm gonna put it all over my, you know, on top of my social media and marketing and stuff. And it's just amazing. Cool, it's so can't wait good. to hear it. Yeah. When's that release? As soon as I get round to, uh, a few of the final tweaks with uh, Azazus cool. very very soon within the next week okay so by the I would I, I would listen to it on the radio I know yeah. I'm biased but it's, it's so good maybe we can uh, you know put it on the put it on the podcast room if it's done by yeah. then and we can absolutely give us, oh, yeah. uh, give I'll, get, the it, I'll get it ready it. I'll yeah. get it ready yes cool. please what is uh, maybe outside of the ability to find good Stilton? What is one thing you miss about England the most? Mm. Um, the pubs, the greenery, the villagers, the fact that you can walk place to place and you don't have to drive everywhere. Um, I miss just like the architecture. Obviously, you know my family and all of that, but um, yeah, I miss them. You know, I've not seen them for a long time because of the pandemic. But um, just the 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 tweeness of it all and just how beautiful it is and how much history the the rich history i i, I miss that what are your uh, go-to pubs here in gainesville i don't really well i no. don't really go to the pub to be honest because they're not okay. really proper pubs i'm you know yeah. not like i'm from england a yeah, pub is a pub that's not in there's Gainesville. An, there's an extra idea there's an extra i was gonna say so, yeah. so do oh, i got you, many ideas expansion gonna be like pubish? right so do you make it that'd be cool do you make it what you miss, or oh, do you make it that'd like? Be sick. Well, this is what we, we do. We come up with business ideas right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> like w- when we uh, came, when we designed the ga- the the Hatchetbury, we wanted to combine industrial with barn, kind of. You yeah, know, combine I can see the that. two elements. You That's know, cool. um, so we could possibly incorporate a bit of English popness, but. That's more kind of medieval Vikings. If we'd have gone with the Viking theme, mm-hmm. then maybe we could incorporate that. But I'm not sure it's going to work for for this. You know, like a sports bar kind of. So, maybe maybe in the future. 
Just curious. I like yeah. a good pub too, oh, but but I also I haven't been to them in England see, to not, compare them. So not, like, yeah. not, Nottingham yeah. as the oldest pub in the world is like from eleven sixteen or something like that. It's called Ye Old Trip to Jerusalem. It's in the in the base rocks of Nottingham Castle, and you literally go in and it's like you got a duck because it's like caves and stuff, and it's where the Roundheads and the Cavaliers or whoever you know they used to drink together before they used to go off and kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> have you uh have, have you watched the crown on netflix uh about half of it love it really? um and i can't wait to see the more recent stuff with diana and all yeah, of that okay. i love it I, just, I don't get much time to watch tv i'm like constantly mm. have you seen it no i haven't that's pretty good <sighs> Re- I would really say about good halfway there, like one, yeah maybe mm. maybe through season one i mean the, the likeness is amazing um and yeah, I, I, I've got to I've got to watch the rest of it, but I love it. Yeah, love it. Cool. I was just curious. I totally lost uh, my one my more question. Fr- yeah. Um, no, go ahead. All right. Yeah. Fi- final question then. I had one, and then I okay. just you know. Final question. If this podcast could connect you to one person, who would it be? Uh for fun, Betty White. Okay. Yeah. I'd bloody love her. She's fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, and uh, and the Queen, and I'm not just saying that because I'm English. I respect that lady so much and what she's given and yeah, uh, everything that she does and how she adapts to the changing times. I mean, God, look, she's you know, she's been doing this for so long, and there'll so be nobody long. else like her. Seventy years and almost. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. She's impacted so many lives, and I'll be very upset when we have to change the banknotes and the royal mail stamps, mm. you know? Yeah, cool. I love her. <laughs> I'm glad that both of them are avid fans of this show. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, they are. They are. Well, thanks again for coming on. That was Hi, a lot Liz of fun. and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again for coming on the show. It was a lot of fun. You guys are in for a treat. Monday at 8 a.m. Definitely give it a listen. And uh, leave us some feedback. Share it with somebody. Leave us a review. Uh, buy some uh, stuff off our website you know go. good good Valentine's I heard it's Day gifts. really really good stuff and maybe we should have like a can we have like a podcast party at the Hatchaberry like oh my god our let's do it audience and just let's like, do it I'm all about uh, different ideas fun like there's no limits no zero limits let's do I feel it like we should wait like post pandemic though like when everybody can like I want I want to hug everybody. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know. All that's right. the, that's okay. the thing. Like, but it'd be right. it'd be fun. Maybe not like, everyone wants to hug you. It'd be fun to hey. promote it and like. Yeah, definitely. No, I just, <laughs> Dude, you know, I just and, miss and, people. Yeah. I miss all my people. And we're still like, we're still we're, we're still got stuff to do with the Hatchaburi as well. So once you know, maybe later. There hasn't off. been really. There hasn't been like a business networking event. No. Right? no okay. No. I want to have the first it's business networking event. That's like that. Our podcast will uh, promote and bring people and audience and and all of our business friends. And we want. Oh, I want to do it there. I'd love that. I'd, right. I would. Just promise me that, that I can be the first. I promise. Ted Be the first as long as you don't take forever. Let me have a TEDx talk. <laughs> TEDx. <laughs> that's one I've not heard oh, before man. or thought of myself. Oh, you should start real, your own YouTube really series, rare. TEDx, where people give speeches in front of yeah. their acts. Ted. I could go all day. Or axe throwing dating. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. Pick a number. Yeah. Number one. Oh, he looks cute. She looks, <laughs> she looks good. Number two. Okay. Uh, the, the, all day. I could come all up with so many yeah. ideas. It's Post-pandemic. Such a course. creative yes. space. Of course. All right, you guys, check out the Hatchetbury. Um, thehatchetbury.com. Thehatchetbury.com. And enjoy Monday's episode. We'll see you later. Hi. Let's fight. Let's fight. If you can't a party, you can throw your hands high. Oh my, it's no lie. Best damn moment I've had all night. Tell me how you do it. I move, you move.